Hey guys, welcome back to Tea with Boar. My name is Boar, and today we're brewing Golden Monkey Tea. In this episode, I'll briefly explain what is Golden Monkey Tea, then I'll show you guys how to brew it, and then finally, we'll do a taste test. Let's get right into it. To begin with, Golden Monkey Tea is a black tea originating from the Yunnan and Fujian provinces of China. It has a lot of characteristics, but a few main ones are that it's only picked from the bud and first leaf of the tea plant. So I'll give you guys a visual to explain what that means, but what's important to understand is that the younger and fresher uh, tea leaves have a lot more flavor and are considered better quality than the older, larger leaves. And as the name suggests, Golden Monkey Tea has many beautiful golden leaves and buds. As I hope you can see. But yeah, that's the golden part of the name. The monkey part is actually an interesting story. It is believed that monks used to train monkeys to climb and grab tea leaves from very tall trees that humans couldn't reach. Now, unfortunately, there isn't much evidence this, and trust me, I've searched all of YouTube, but I couldn't find anything. So, it may not be true, but at least it's a cool story. This particular golden monkey tea is from the Fujian province of China, and the smell of the dry leaves is a nice sweet smoked wood, a bit of tobacco smell. So, now that you know everything you need to know about golden monkey tea, let me show you how to brew it. For my first infusion, I like to brew most of my black teas somewhere around 90 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds. However, I find that this golden monkey tea is quite aggressive, so what I'll do is I'll keep the temperature at 90 degrees, but I'll decrease the brewing time to about 10 seconds. But first, let's do our rinse. Okay, our rinse is done. We are now ready for infusion number one. Our water is at 90 degrees and we will only brew for about 10 seconds. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to get show you guys up close, but yeah, make sure all that liquid is out and give our lid a smell. Well, it has very sweet, refreshing, I'd say, fruity tangerine notes. Now let's see how the leaves smell. The leaves have a lot more of a, a darker smoked tobacco, um, smoked wood sense. Um, the fruity, I guess, the fruity notes of, of tangerine are still there, but not nearly as, as present as they were in the lid. So let's pour some into our cups. wait a few seconds. Wow. Very strong, vibrant notes of, whew, I'd say mm, a dark apricot, mm, smoked, that, that smoked taste is there, if that makes sense, but it's a very dark tea. Let me try to explain that a bit better. I'd say the tones are some earthy um, hazelnut. Yeah, a hazelnut is actually, a sweet roasted hazelnut is actually probably the closest I can get to describing it, but it's very, very nice. So the black tea, as usual, is very strong, but what's nice about this golden monkey is when you when you brew it properly, it's not really bitter at all. And uh, that's kind of what happened to me when I brewed it for 20 seconds my first time. I noticed that I was getting some very uh, strong bitter notes, but now that I brewed it only 10 seconds, it's a very delightful tea. Okay, I'll finish my first infusion and we'll skip to infusion number two. All right, so for my second infusion, I've kept the temperature at 90 degrees Celsius, but I'm gonna decrease the brewing time to about 12 to 15 seconds. Let's see what happens. Number two. So, sorry I didn't show you guys this the last time, but maybe you can tell that the liquor did get quite a lot darker. So before it was a, a light brown, now it's a, a darker brown with a bit of a, a nice red cognac 
orange color. So make sure the liquid is all out. And now let's give our lid a smell. Okay, so relatively sim similar smell, but those darker smoked notes are actually a bit more present on the lid. Now, let's smell the dry, uh, wet leaves. The leaves have not changed at all. It really still has that, that nice smoked wood, smoked tobacco smell. So now, let's try our tea. Interesting. So I'd say actually, I'm surprised the uh, the smoked uh, smoked tobacco notes in the taste have actually diminished, and the fruity sweeter notes are coming out a lot more. So what I'm tasting a lot more is this nice, mm, I'd say a nice sweet molasses plum. Still a bit apricot, but not as much, but it's a very, very nice taste. The texture of the tea is actually quite thin, which is surprising because usually a darker colored liquor suggests that the tea will be thicker and more viscous, but here it's not the case. But yeah, it's a very, very good tea. And as I finish my second infusion, we'll move on to infusion number three. Okay, so third infusion still at 90 degrees, but we'll increase the brewing time to 20 seconds. So quite a similar color to the second infusion. If, if I were trying to make a distinction, I'd say it's slightly more on that brown color rather than red, but very similar color. Let's make sure the liquid is all out. And now let's smell our lid a third time. Once again, it's similar to the second infusion, so, and the first as well, but um, less on those smoky tones and more of that sweet um, plum honey uh, kind of sweetness. So now let's try the wet leaves. Now I'd say that the, the smoky tones from the wet leaves start, is starting to die down and a bit more of those sweeter, more refreshing tones are coming up. So, let's pour some into our cups and try infusion number three. Okay, so how do I explain this? It's, it's getting sweeter, surprisingly. Um, the more, it actually seems, the more I brew it, I mean, this also depends on the infusions, but I'm actually getting sweeter tones as I keep going forward. So it's, it's actually kind of replicating the smell, um, less on those smoky, darker tones and more of that sweet, fruity and nice kind of honey, plum, um, apricot taste. So yeah, very, very nice tea. I'm very glad to be able to try it and yeah, I'll keep going to my sixth, seventh infusion, but I won't bother you guys with that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, so you may have noticed that I'm filming from a new location now and I'm not exactly used to everything so I feel like the video isn't as good as I'd like it to be but that's okay. So anyways, sorry for that and I'll try to get better in the next one. See ya. Alexa, what's the opposite of viscous? 
Viscous antonyms are watery, soupy, and thin.